gentlemen, your attention, please. It is cabaret time at Café René. I give you the singing policeman and Michel of the Resistance. Oh. <coughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> <clears throat> I will now tickle the ivories. <clears throat> Listen very carefully. We shall sing this only once. <laughs> Up in the school. <laughs> we ain't had no loving since January, February, June. And you lose. <laughs> no time, ain't no time to stay outside and spoon. So shine on, shine on harvest moon for me and my ghoul. <laughs> As we are here, it, uh, it appears that is so, yes. <laughs> what a relief. We thought you were dead. Shot by a furring squid. <laughs> <laughs> we escaped by the skin of our teeth. Who has written under new management on this menu? And what are you doing singing in our cafe? That is my role. Uh, you will drive all away our customers singing off key like that. <laughs> well, I am sure they are used to it. <gasps> I mean, apart from which, we were merely continuing your business. We did not think you were coming back. <laughs> so this is what happens when I am away for a moment. Get that apron off and get out of here, the lot of you. We were only trained to help. Don't get your knockers in a twas. <laughs> <laughs> it is gone midnight. You will lose me my license. Mimi, Yvette, get everybody out of here now. Quick. Oh, oh Madame Edith. I was grief-stricken at the thought of your death. <laughs> My dicky ticker soars at the sight of you. Oh, thank you, Monsieur Alphonse. I know how much you care about me. Oh, yes, and I had chosen a beautiful coffin for you as well. <laughs> oh, well, well. I will keep it for another day, huh? <laughs> this is not much for an evening's takings. Oh, Madame Fanny and Monsieur Leclerc took the rest. Huh? They have gone to Paris for a binge before they jump in the Seine. Oh, my God. So that is where my ice cream van was going? Oh, it is typical of Mama. She never wanted to go out quietly. She never did anything quietly. <laughs> Those taking should go to the resistance. We are desperately sure to kish. <laughs> that is not my fault. Well, you were partly to blame for the dogfish bungle, which lost us the 10 million francs from the Colonel and Lieutenant Gruber. Then why not ask them for more? <laughs> we have decided to show them we mean business. We have sent the incriminated photograph, which implicates them in the theft of the fallen Madonna, to General von Klinkrothen, who will no doubt have them shot. In the meantime, I shall take this for singing tonight. I never get paid for singing. Well, you should be paid for not singing. <laughs> and I will have some too. Well, after all, I played the piano. What about Moo? Don't I get any watches? Here. If you knew the Sagoon, I'm through on Mindays and Saturdays. <laughs> Get out. Oh, there's gratitude for you. <laughs> what a night. I am exhausted. Let us go up to bed. I am not that exhausted. <laughs> now it is over. It is time to rejoice. Yes, you can say that again, Edith. <laughs> yes. Yvette has avoided the shame, and you and I are still in one piece after last night. <laughs> the German commandant and the lieutenant have gone, and soon the war will be over. Suddenly, everything is perfect. I will sing a song to celebrate. Oh! <laughs> well, perhaps not as perfect as it could be. <laughs> Shine on, shine. 